What's going on YouTube fam? We're back again for another expedition video. So I already have the wheels and stuff off over here too. So as you know in the last video, these um, ball joints here were pretty toasted. They were toasting and then there's one down here somewhere. But yeah, those were toasted. So I couldn't find any ball joints to just replace the upper a arms so i had to get new a arms and then two of the lower ball joints so that's what we're going to be doing today um so i mean let's just jump right into it i'm gonna strap you to my head and uh time lapse you through it I'm not gonna talk to you talk you through it well i guess i can start just by showing you what i'm gonna do first so what i'm gonna do first is disconnect this a arm from this bolt right here first hopefully you can get get my light up here so i'm gonna disconnect it from here first then i'll disconnect it from up here and then just assemble it back on and then this one i actually bought a harbor freight ball joint tool i know harbor freight it is what it is but uh it's over here so we're gonna be Using this sucker today, hopefully it works out pretty well. And uh yeah. We'll just uh knock it out the best we can. So I'm gonna strap you to my head. Here we go. Great on that beat going crazy. Okay, just wanted to give a little update. I got the two bolts out of that side. I got the bolt kind of out of that side, but it's hitting on this strut and shock assembly. So what I'm gonna have to do is take this shock assembly out so I can slide that out. And uh, this is gonna be a big boy to pull on up out of here, but it has to um, come out for me to get that bolt out. So. Oh, Ford, thank you so much. Well, let's get back at it, guys and gals. So I got it out. We have my old one. Oh, floppy McGee over here. And my new stiff boy. Floppy McGee. Stiff boy. So I ended up having to disconnect the shop tower here. I just have it laying in there. 
and then the bottom part. So we're gonna put this one back in. We're gonna leave it relatively loose and bolt everything back up just in case we have to kind of take some stuff out and um, move stuff around just to get this bottom one out. So um, yeah, let's get to it. got it separated I went and bought a um, ball joint separator it didn't really help I just kept hitting I put the nut back on here just kept hitting it hit it so hard it sparked and then it came out yay yeah, yeah. so now I got to get some pliers undo this little snap ring if you can see it right here and then we're gonna open up the um the ball joint kit and uh yeah I'm tired that was, that was, that was intense. A hundred and eighty thousand mile ball joint did not want to come out. But, we got you out! <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, let me get this snap ring out. After uh, about 30 minutes of struggling trying to get it set up, I finally got it out. I wasn't recording the first part when I got it set up because I was just trying to get it done. But uh, yeah, we got it out. I'm going to clean up the inside here and then try to put, put this other one back in there. It's a real tight fit to get this bad boy to sit just right. Um, I'm not the most patient person, so it was really difficult to try to be patient and hold everything and, you know, get it just right. But, uh, yeah, we're going to put this one in and we'll move on to the next side. Yay. All right, everybody. So there's going to have to be a part two for this video. The ball joints that I ordered 
are a little bit too big. The boot is too big. So when I put my little ball joint tool on there, it's going to rip the boot. So we're just going to have to order some motor craft ones because I was too cheap to do that the first time. So learn by my mistake yet again and buy the good shit. Um, yeah, so I'm about to switch over to a different video that might upload before this one. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're going to jump into my wife's Audi and see why it was misfiring so bad. Hopefully, it's just plugs and coils. That way, I could just order some plugs and coils and uh, call it a day. So, two broken cars. Can't fix them yet. Living, living the life. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to switch over to the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Order some stuff from me. Ships out same day, more than likely. Thanks. Stay tuned for part two. Hopefully we'll get it done and not run into any more issues. But yeah, thanks. Bye. See you later.